wife and I own and operate Bluebird Grain Farms. And we're out here doing early spring work uh, on our Moxon Lake Ranch, which will be taking soil samples so we know what's in the soil. My name's Sam Lucy. My job as a farmer, I've always felt, is to grow nutritious food. And the way we do that is to balance the soils so that we have balanced minerals in the soils so that our, our grains can take up that balance and you have a balanced whole food. We do a compilation of plugs to make one soil sample and we'll probably do three samples throughout this field and then we will compare those values to the values of what this field was at before we cover crop it so we know what we're gaining. Mix our different core samples around to make one sample. I have a map of where we took the soil sample from. Send it to CSI Labs and they'll send us back a report and we'll know whether we've been naughty or nice. So we're trying to grow nutrient dense uh, grain, particularly our emmer, which is the, the ancient grain that has uh, the properties of trace minerals in it, and we want to make sure that it is loaded with the trace minerals. It all has to be a balance, just like in your body. And these are my two employees. This is Teal. She's our eight-year-old black lab. She's chief uh, tractor operator. And this is her partner, Tucker her young protege, he's three, and he is chief gopher digger. And they're usually with me making sure I'm not making too many mistakes out here. So we've gotten our soil tests back that we did out here earlier and analyzed them. Not surprising, we're putting down a mix of minerals, some mineral packets that we've been using here the last uh, four years. Um, we did not put it on this field last year because we cover cropped this field. And we've definitely been gaining with our potassium levels and our trace mineral levels, but since we're going to be growing a grain crop this year, we're going to amend it with more of this product. It's not a new product to us. It's a mix of potassium, potash, um, sulfur, some trace minerals. It's got a little zinc, a little copper in it. Um, little boron and then the silica is the real powdery stuff that you see. Well, the silica can be used to bring the high magnesium in these soils down which makes the what potassium we have more available. When the plant stresses out and hunts for the nutrients to form the sugars in it, um, that's when it's taking this up and so we'll we're putting this out here now. It's the first thing we do after soil test and then we'll cultivate this in a couple of times, work it into the soil, and then we will uh, uh, we'll make a good seed bed and plant. And this field here will be going into emmer.